Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on mid-systolic click. A mid-systolic click is a non-ejection systolic click, heard shortly after the first heart sound, with radiation to the axilla. It is best heard with the diaphragm of the stethoscope, over the apex with the patient in the left lateral position. The mid-systolic click may occur in isolation or in conjunction with a late systolic mitral regurgitation murmur. A mid-systolic click is usually associated with a mitral valve prolapse. In mitral valve prolapse, the leaflets especially the anterior leaflet, protrude into the atrium in systole. The mid-systolic click occurs when the anterior leaflet prolapses into the atrium, putting tension on the chordae tendony. The click corresponds to the sudden tensing of the chordae tendony. For the mechanism of dynamic maneuvers. In mitral valve prolapse, as the left ventricle chamber decreases in size in systole, the papillary muscles or the chordae fail to maintain tension on the mitral valve, and it prolapses with a brief regurgitant period into the left atrium. To help elicit the sign and diagnosis, additional maneuvers are performed. Maneuvers are conditions which decrease venous return, such as valsalva, tachycardia, or an increase in contractility, allow for less tension on the valve and chordae tendony, so prolapse will occur earlier and closer to first heart sound. This picture shows the dynamic auscultation in mitral valve prolapse. Any maneuver that decreases LV volume, such as decreased venous return, tachycardia, decreased outflow impedance, and increased contractility, worsens the mismatch in size between the enlarged mitral valve and LV chamber, resulting in prolapse earlier in systole and movement of the click and murmur towards the first heart sound. Conversely, maneuvers that increase LV volume, such as increased venous return, bradycardia, increased outflow impedance, and decreased contractility, delay the occurrence of prolapse, resulting in movement of the click and murmur towards the second heart sound. Conversely, maneuvers, such as squatting, bradycardia or decreased contractility, that increase venous return and diastolic filling, and increase ventricular volume, help to maintain tension along the chordae and to keep the valve shut, and not prolapse, or prolapse later in the cycle towards S2. For its sign value, a staple in physician clinical examinations when present, this sign is very specific for mitral valve prolapse. However, prolapse may be present without a mid-systolic click occurring. That's all for this video. Thank you.